So maybe you're someone who is using the uh, blockchain.info or now blockchain.com wallet back from before you knew any better, uh, but you found yourself in a situation where you don't know your wallet password, or maybe you don't know your second password, and you'd like to try and regain access to your crypto. This video is going to look at how to use BTC Recover to regain access in a situation where you think you know your password or you think you know part of your password, uh, but you've actually forgotten it. And uh, you need to use a tool like BTC Recover to try and brute force the rest. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop about content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. The first thing you need to do is to get BTC Recover from my GitHub and you will need to use my fork of BTC Recover in that the uh, older forks don't actually support uh, the newer wallet format for blockchain.com wallet. So if you try and use uh, any of the original forks of BTC Recover, it's just going to say password search exhausted and not going to find a result. And for this video, basically, if you want to follow along or reproduce anything I've done, you can just open up this example commands and file templates and uh, use this recovering blockchain.com wallet passwords example. Uh, and you'll be able to find all the commands and template files that I use in this video. Now, the thing to mention with these blockchain.com wallets is that you can recover them in two ways. Uh, firstly, BTC Recover can work directly with the wallet file. Uh, so you've got the wallet file and you're running BTC Recover on your computer. When the result is found, uh, it'll spit out what the password is. Uh, so someone could then spend those funds straight away or send them to a new address. Whereas uh, the other way that you can use BTC Recover with these uh, blockchain.com wallets is you can actually extract a small part of the wallet file uh, and actually run BTC Recover on a different computer or give it to a different person or something like that. And what that means is that uh, even if someone finds what the password for your blockchain.com wallet is, uh, unless they actually have the wallet file, uh, the complete whole wallet file, not just the extract, they won't actually be able to gain access to all of your cryptos. So uh, if your password that you're trying to brute force is particularly long and complex, uh, it might actually be a good idea to use the extract scripts that are in here and then to run that on a cloud server or something like that, because it actually doesn't matter uh, if someone else scans access to the password or the results, they won't have enough to steal your funds. So the first step you're going to have to do after you've downloaded an unzip BTC recover is to uh, navigate to its folder and run this script here, and I'll show you how that works now. So the first thing you need to do is to open command prompt and then just navigate to wherever you've got BTC recover unzipped. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this command here. Just bearing in mind that uh, you might need just to use Python instead of Python 3, depending on uh, how you've got Python set up. Okay, so we run that script, and now we need to type in our wallet ID. So for this video, I'll just be using this wallet ID here. And I'll paste that in, and then go. So basically from this point, it's like you're just logging into the normal blockchain.com wallet. So it'll send you an email. So you get your email from blockchain.com wallet, and you'll say, yes, I want to authorize the login. And then basically, uh, it'll say that your requesting device is unknown uh, just because it won't recognize Python as a browser. But the IP address and the country should be the same. So we'll say accept. And there you go. So once you've approved that login, if you've got two factor enabled, it'll also prompt you for that. So I'll just type in that code as well. And there we go. So that has now saved the wallet file. Uh, here as wallet.aes.json. And uh, if we have a look in the BTC Recover folder, we can see that is the file just there. That wasn't there before. So we've just downloaded that just now. So that is your blockchain.com wallet uh, that you're going to use for BTC Recover. So now what we're going to do is the first example is going to be one where we have a token list file. Basically, what a token list file is, is it's a way that you can tell BTC Recover that you might have little bits and pieces that you often use to make a password up. So maybe um, you would have certain words and phrases that you often use in passwords and rearrange in different ways. So this example one here uh, essentially is telling us that we know that this BTCR was the thing that the password started with. That was the first token. Um, and we know that it also would have had these words in them because they're words that we would commonly have used. You maybe had used words like symbols like this to put in between these different words and you also might recall you had a habit of like sticking the year in there somewhere as well so uh, that's what this token list is going to be doing and uh, i'll just be running this command here because i've downloaded the wallet file uh, but again this command that i've got here is actually the same command it's just using the wallet file that is included in the test wallet folder and i'll just run through the commands i've got here so firstly we're using btc recover um, we're telling it where the wallet file is, 
that we want it to use. And we're also going to assume that we uh, maybe had capitalized some words in there that we'd forgotten about. So we just turned on typos caps lock as well. And that is the link to our token list file. So if we just hit go, um, it is going to run and it does give us a security warning, which is valid for this one because we are running it with a wallet file, not with an extract. And uh, that's just going to sit there and run for a minute. And there we go. So it's actually found the password just here. In this case, we got really lucky and then it found it quite early in the full set of passwords it's going to test. So that's how you recover the main password for the wallet. And now what we'll look at is how to recover a second password uh, in that BTC Recover lets you do this too. So basically we knew the main password was this one here, BTCR test password from uh, the first example. And we're gonna use a password list file. So a password list file is a really good one to use if you are quite sure of what the password is, uh, or perhaps only have three or four different passwords that you use uh, rather than lots of little building blocks. And um, if we have a look at this example here, um, this password list file basically just has what I was thinking was the password. And you'll notice in this one that basically uh, it has some capital letters in there that don't belong, as well as a letter S at the end. So there's actually four typos uh, in a password of that length, which is pretty bad. Uh, I've also just stuck the top 20 passwords off the Rocky list. And so basically what BTC Recover is going to do is it's going to try each password on this list and it's also going to apply some typos to them. So I'll just take this example command here and we'll stick that command prompt and I'll just run through uh, what all of these different arguments do. So basically in this example, we are using a different wallet file just because that one I downloaded before doesn't actually have second password enabled because you don't seem to be able to enable second passwords anymore. We also are telling BTC Recover that we are looking for a second password, not just the first one. Now, in terms of the kinds of typos that we think might be in our password, we're telling it that we might have some letters that are the wrong case. So basically what BTC Recover will go through and do is uh, it'll try capitalizing all the lowercase letters and also try uh, running all the uppercase letters as lowercase as well. We're also telling it to try uh, deleting characters as well. So it's gonna run through and try all possible passwords where there are up to four typos that could be a mix of letters that should be capitalized when they aren't or the other way around. Uh, or just accidentally leaving some characters off. And basically, uh, we're saying we're using the password list command this time, not the token list command. And we're basically just uh, giving it the path to find that password list file that is bundled with BTC Recover now that I'm using in this example. So if we just hit enter, uh, it is going to prompt us for the main password for the wallet. So we'll just type that in. And again, it's normal that it doesn't display it as you type. And uh, if you do get it wrong, the main password it will tell you. Okay, so I've obviously just made a typo there. So let's try again. All right, and now it's running. So this is running to solve the second password for the wallet. And there you go, it's found it. In this case, it is a little bit confusing because the main password and the second password are the same. Um, but yeah, that's just successfully found the second password. It did have to go a little bit further through the test set this time. Uh, but again, it's sort of really just luck of the draw in terms of how far through uh, the test it gets before it finds it. For example three, we're gonna do exactly what we just did in example two, but we're going to use a wallet extract this time. So basically when you use one of the scripts in the extract scripts folder, and uh, it's gonna be this one here. So extract blockchain second hash. So what we're gonna do is run this extract script. And what it does is it takes a small sample of the wallet file, which is enough to use to solve the password, but not for someone else to be able to take your funds. Uh, and we're using it for the second password. Though there is also another extract script for the main password as well. And the wallet file we're gonna be using is uh, this one here that we just used in the previous example. And if we just hit enter, it'll ask us for the main password. Cause again, you do need to enter the main password to extract the script for the second password. And there you go. So this is what we want here. So this command is very similar to the one we used in the previous example, but instead of telling it what wallet file we want to use, and also instead of telling it uh, that we're looking for a second password, we're just gonna use this argument here called data extract. Everything else is identical to the previous example. 
So if we just hit enter, it is going to ask us for the data from the extract script. So if you're in Windows command prompt, you can actually just left click and drag to highlight the uh, bit of data we want from the previous one. And if you right click, it'll actually copy it into the clipboard and then you can actually right click again down here and it will paste. So we can just stick that in. And there you go, just like before, it's found the password and uh, that is done. Now I can't do a video on the blockchain.com wallet without really emphasizing that at least in my opinion, it is not a good wallet to be using at all. And uh, you know, if you've regained access to your blockchain.com wallet, uh, now is a great time to uh, upgrade your security significantly and move to a hardware wallet. And uh, you know, a Ledger Nano S can be a great value place to start with that. Uh, or a Legend Nano X, particularly if you're someone who's using mobile. But uh, certainly, you know, this is a good opportunity to move to a better wallet. And if that's something you want to do and help me out at the same time, there'll be an affiliate link for that in the description. So that's about all there is to it. Uh, and again, like always with BTC Recover, uh, it's really not intended to just brute force completely from scratch. Uh, that'll take a very long time. Uh, but if you've got a pretty good idea about what your password should be and you've got some typos in it, uh, often you can successfully recover your funds using this tool. So again, if you have any issues uh, or run into trouble with this, definitely open an issue on GitHub uh, or leave a reply. And if you do manage to successfully recover a decent amount of funds, uh, definitely consider sending me a tip to continue to support uh, the maintenance and development of this tool. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.